Come on in. You want to do a craft with us? I know you do. Come on. I'm waiting. Hello there. My name is Kim, and this is the Farmhouse Craftaholics page. Welcome, Craftaholics. Today, we're going to be doing a simple no sew farmhouse style throw pillow. Um, no sewing, no. Uh, it's, it's like the easiest thing ever. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to be so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come on say hi say where you're from um, like I said my name is Kim I'm gonna be doing a no sew throw pillow using a Dollar Tree tea towel all right simple easy easy peasy way to go lemon squeezy so we're gonna use the tea towel we're gonna use some buttons let's see what we got here buttons to choose from we are going to have some ribbon if we need it we may or may not need it this is just a backup plan just in case in case things go horribly wrong <laughs> hey it happens on live right what can you say it just does hi welcome 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 come on in take up a seat watch me craft i'm doing a dollar tree a no so dollar tree throw pillow farmhouse style with a dollar tree tea towel which okay at least i've ironed it all right and some maybe some ribbon probably not hopefully not you never know i'm just going to cut the tag off the uh, tea towel toss it away uh say hi say where you're from so i'm not all alone talking to myself and i'm going to oh here we go numbers are coming up it must be just around six did y'all like that i uh, i announced when i was going live all day and you knew that you had you could plan for me was that better for you because if it is, definitely let me know. I cannot see anybody. Oh, hi, Brenda. Okay, I was just going to say I can't see anybody, but apparently there's people on here. So give me some hearts and some likes if you are uh, just coming on. We're making a no-so. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Lori. Hey, Lori, did you get your stencils yet? Let me know. Um, and did you join Club Stencil? I think you might have. I think I remember your name. Um, all right. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Hi, Michelle. Oh, from Maine. All right. Dayton, Ohio. Where else? Kentucky. Amanda, you didn't say where you were from. That's okay, girl. Don't worry about it. Oh, South Carolina. Yes. All right. So, uh, must be just around supper time for you guys. I'm not sure about Ohio. Ohio's same time zone. I think Eastern, isn't it? Um, so, we're making a dollar store or dollar tree. I picked this, this tea towel up at the Dollar Tree. Okay. That's the Dollar Tree part. And I'm going to make a... Uh, farmhouse style throw pillow for the couch or something like that and I have this I have glue hot glue because that's what we're going to use instead of sewing so it's probably not going to be washable hi Catherine down the road in Canada yay yay Canada hey yay USA I love us all actually I don't really there's like the board doesn't matter hey Sue hi how are you so I am going to get started so i have the dollar tree tea towel which i picked up i picked this up a while ago but you can get them anytime right you just have to hunt through the dollar three when they get their tea towels um or you don't even have to use this one hi sharon you can use um you can use them from any store but i i want to try dollar tree one and i have some this ribbon which i picked up at the dollar tree it came like if you can see it's got like that and then it's got white hi carol uh and it had why i grabbed it honestly was for this <laughs> so this comes in a big bundle and it was uh was it the dollar tree or it might have been the canadian dollar store i have a great idea do you guys want to see a shopping trip to the canadian dollar store sometime this week because i can pop over and we can do a, a a facebook live while i'm in the dollar store it's called dollarama here although it's not really a dollar store it's more like a dollar general now because it's not a dollar anymore what is club stencil amanda it is our once a month um, package that goes to your home okay filled with a bundle of stencils and then a private group that we this is paid a private group that you all join and um, from there we I also I have in there like this burlap wreath and bow tutorial next month I'm putting in I think the candles I'm gonna do some candles tutorials hi love the shopping videos okay I can do it because a lot of you are from the US so you want to see the Canadian dollar store because right? hey why not right because we got different stuff so we have a Dollar Tree which is where this is from but I will hit the Canadian dollar store for you and um, take you on a tour 
because you know what are friends for right so uh, and club stencil sorry so you pay and then once a month I send out stencils so if you want to get in on club stencil it's $14.99 plus $4.99 shipping US dollars if you want to get in on that put your name on the waitlist at club, club stencil which is email waitlist.clubstencil at gmail.com and then get it in before the 28th because we only open for one day the 28th of the month I send everybody invoices that particular day you need to pay in a couple of days before the third of the month then I send the stencils out a couple of days later and they take we have found it's taken about a week to seven or eight days because I, I mailed them out last Thursday and they only started arriving this Friday in the States so I'm gonna adjust for that knowing that okay uh, so like I said your, your Dollar Tree uh, does, yeah, I don't know if it had ribbon bundles. I can't remember. It might have been the dollar store in Canada, the Dollarama. I will look at both and see because uh, it was a great deal. It was a pile of them for like a, um, oh, I don't even remember what you call this stuff. There's a name for it. But I liked it because it was black and white. It came with a bundle of uh, ribbons like this. I'm sure you could go to your fabric store and do just as well. Okay. Hello, Linda. Hey, Kay. Um, sorry, I should be saying hi. And I have buttons that I, you know, doesn't everybody have some buttons hanging around their house? So I may or may not use them. I just grabbed everything, put it over here for now. Okay. And did you all see my carrots that I did last week? Um, let me see. These were from this alive a couple of days ago and they were Easter carrots so I did these I did this one probably on the live all right and I did this one later and then I, I did another one off camera so you can see you can do them different ways so that's a different live uh, just go through the page you'll find it and oh yeah the interview who liked the interview with uh, Faggy from creative inking did you enjoy that um, because if you like that I want to do more of those I thought that was so much fun for me I had a great time um, she did all the hard work she she showed us how to use alcohol ink and uh, which I have never tried and it's it looks pretty interesting so I'm thinking I'm gonna invite other crafters that are maybe in business for themselves um, to come on maybe once uh, every couple of weeks I'll have I'll interview one and you guys can learn yeah and you guys can learn some new stuff like they could show us some new things I'm gonna stick to the farmhouse style anyway um, what I liked about the alcohol inks is you could make the tiles you can also do um, little stained glass windows and things like that for inside of wood structures and so that I thought it was very very cool um, so if you are interested in that just say yeah more interviews and I will get a hold of some people and get them to come on for me <laughs> hi Sandy um, all right so I'm gonna get to this and I like I said we're starting off with the tea towel and I'm gonna fold it in I'm gonna say thirds okay so I'm gonna fold it like that and this is completely up to you okay this is there's no rhyme or reason here it's just whatever you think looks best so you play around with it until you're happy like I could have done it halfway but I really didn't like that I was like no I'm not that kind of person I kind of like things off a little a little off center just like me <laughs> I'm a little off center so I'm gonna do this and I think oh I, I want it down there a bit further that's just what I like okay you're gonna do it yourself you're gonna play around with it and how we're gonna close this is we're gonna use hot glue and I'm gonna go along lucky for me it's this handy dandy line right here I'm just gonna use that so I'm gonna put this this is also from the Dollar Tree there's it's a Dollar Tree chopping mat cut in half I often use paint on it right now my hot glue gun is sitting on it it doesn't burn the hot glue gun It's perfect for that so this is I'm just gonna put this underneath here so that I don't wind up let me see move this back so you can see I don't wind up gluing it to my table <laughs> so I'm gonna run a bead of hot glue along there and I'm gonna put my gloves on because this one would burn your fingers because that material is very thin and the glue is probably gonna come through and if it does I'm probably gonna cover it up with ribbon later so that's kind of why I pulled that ribbon out thinking I might need to hide something and that's like half of crafting <laughs> isn't it um, figuring out you no know, so I want to see how far up this one goes and I want to go all the way up to the top and all the way down to the corner okay not really thick just follow that line but don't leave any holes because this is a pillow and you're gonna want to 
make sure that it's closed and sealed all the way. So I'm just gonna, like, that's all there is to it as far as I'm concerned, okay? Now, I'll be honest, I haven't done it on this material before. Well, that's all good, I like that. You could go right to the edge, but I kind of like the a little bit of a, I'm using the seams, I'm using the seam allowance, I'm taking advantage, full advantage of this thing, and I'm, I don't have to do any sewing because the edges are already finished, okay? So I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna turn this around and do the other side. All right. And I'm going to follow that line again. So it's not perfectly even. Yes, you could use fabric bond glue, Susan, absolutely. Or you could use the, um, there's an, uh, like a strip of tape you can stick on here and heat with your iron. Absolutely, you could do that too. I am just testing this out. And I figure, um, I like to do this kind of stuff uh, just to see. Because I want to know if it's going to work. And I want to know, a lot of people maybe only have a glue gun at home right now. So that's what we're going to do. Now you can see I'm just trying to get it stay on that line. That's I mean, if you don't have a line, what can you do, right? And I want it up a little further there. And then squish it together. So yeah, fabric bond glue would work. Um, I don't know how long that would take to dry. This dries pretty quick. So, um, and we're just going to have to let that sit for a minute and kind of cool down. So, all right. So, and it did not really come through, which is good. All right. What are the gloves? Oh, Jill, you're new here, aren't you? <laughs> These are, um, they're gardening gloves. Okay. Although I don't garden. Okay. Just so we're clear. I'm not a plant. I'm not a plant person. Um, I like them. I mean, I've got no, nothing against them, but I'm not very good with them. So the nickname plant murderer is not inappropriate for me. However, I did discover recently that these silicone um, or nitrile gardening gloves allow you to get hot glue on yourself without burning yourself. So to me, that's the best thing to slice bread. And then it just rubs right off, okay? So get yourself a pair from, uh, they had them at the Dollar Tree. There's a fabric hot glue too, yep. Hey, like I say, you can use whatever you like. I just wanna use what I have on hand and what most likely most people have. And not every craft I make is gonna last forever. I don't expect it to be washable. And if that was the case, I could sew it. And I, I mean, I have a sewing machine. I do know how to sew. It's not my favorite thing. If you can sew, let me know if you can sew too. Um, if you like sewing. Um, I have sewed, like I can sew well enough. I actually made my own wedding dress many years ago and I sewed it and I, I altered my sister-in-law's wedding dress and I mean, I can sew, but it's not my favorite thing. The fabric hot glue is great, is it really? Ooh, I might have to get some, just to have it in my stash. I don't happen to have any right now. Uh, it's probably more flexible, right? Is that what would be good about it? Is it really more flexible? All right, so we're gonna take the gloves on for now, but grab yourself, now they have, gloves like these at the Dollar Tree right now because spring is coming up and they're uh, they have a blue palm okay I like these because they fit pretty snugly for me these are the Playtex ones and I got mine uh, I think at our Canadian dollar store but I've seen them on Amazon okay so they're Playtex all right yeah yeah Sue so, I mean I can um, I can fix things and I repair things. Maybe that's why I don't like it so much. It's more about repairing than it is about creating anything. So I could sew this. You could sew this and it's really not going to be hard. Okay. But I didn't want to sew it because I wanted it to be something that anybody can give a shot. Right. So what the heck? It's just fun. It's a dollar for a tea towel. If it doesn't work out, pull it apart and use it as a tea towel. All right. So now, as far as I can tell, it appears to be glued. <laughs> Looks good to me. All right. So now we have this pocket, which we're going to stuff. So this is not from the dollar store, just so you know, but I want you to see, don't go out and buy stuffing at the craft store or Walmart or any place like that. That stuff's expensive. That polyfill, that's expensive. What do you call those gloves? They're gardening gloves and they have a nitrile, N-I-T-R-I-L-E or a silicone, S-I-L-C-I-O-N-E, no, C, 
S-I-L-I-C-O-N-E, silicone or nitrile, palm, like um, this rubbery stuff, okay? You can get them, I've seen them at Home Depot. Um, hey, Sheila. Uh, I've seen them at Home Depot. I've seen them at dollar stores. I've seen them, I mean, I should probably get them, make them and start to sell them because they are awesome. Like you do not burn your fingers. Like you'll still have fingerprints at the end of your life. <laughs> All right, sorry, off track again, but that's just how we roll. Okay, so don't buy polyfill at the dollar store. Head yourself to Walmart and grab yourself one of these cheap Walmart pillows for, uh, I think it's three bucks, four bucks, something like that, okay? And then cut that baby open. I'm gonna pull it out of here, okay? And you can use this to stuff whatever. I used it for my gnomes, I use it for, um, I'm gonna cut that off because that's gonna drive me crazy. Um, I use it for my gnomes, I use it for anything I need to stuff. It is the cheapest way to get poly stuffing brand new because I don't like to buy stuffing in that second hand. I'm funny like that, it's weird, eh? Like we have our little idiosyncrasies and that's mine. Aw, thanks Green Ego Pop Art. She says, I'm awesome. Um, all right, so, or if you have a pillow at home that's come to the end of its life, better still, I just didn't happen to have one um, that, that's available because if I steal them, it's going to be my husband's because <laughs> I'm not going to use mine. Um, mine are feather pillows, and um, that wouldn't work as well. But if you have a pillow that's come to the end of its life or an old, i got to get the lighting in here. It's driving my, making my glasses crazy. Um, then use that first. Take take advantage of that and recycle and reuse, okay? But if you don't, grab yourself some of this stuff from Walmart. Look at that, okay? So this much polyfill, I don't even know what it would cost, all right? So we're gonna just fluff this up, like we're, I don't know, having fun. And we're gonna stuff our pillow. Now, like I said, I've never done this before, so. This is the first time for me too. I'm gonna to put this in, I'm gonna tuck it right into the corners, get it down in the corner. See that, I'm pushing it down into the corner. And that glue is holding pretty well. So I'm getting it right in there so it'll have a nice sort of sharp corner right there. Right there. Hello, sock puppet. <laughs> All right, push that in. Grab some more poly. Ugh. There we go. I'm just just keep putting it in. Now I don't think I'm gonna need that anymore, but you never know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna just stuff it till I'm happy with the sort of size of it. All right, that pillow is uh, denser filled too and it goes a long way. Yes, it does, Carol, it goes an awful long way. Like this, this will last me um, quite a bit, quite a bunch of uh, projects. So, and then you just, you can use the cover off the pillow because it's like a white, almost like a white muslin, right? You could use that for another project. So no, there's no waste. There's no waste at all. Uh, yeah, um, so, I, cause I don't want to waste, right? I don't want to buy it just for the sake of it. But I love to make things. So uh, if I did have an old pillow that, and I have, I think that's probably where I got the idea originally was to use a pillow you had, but then you quickly run out of those, right? <laughs> cause you only have so many of those floating around the house that are, you know, um, that you can take from your from your family before they start to object <laughs> so but this was a, i found because i found that see so we're just putting the stuffing in there see that i found this was the best way to get poly for my projects uh, uh and keeping the price down hi gina because you know well uh, i like value right and i like to uh, uh, i don't want to spend more than i have to okay so and I can keep stuffing this as much as I want and it doesn't shed much. There's a little bit, all right? So I'm just gonna put that in and decide. So see, it's like a little envelope now, see that? It's like a little envelope, which I think is kind of cool. It's gonna be a cute little pillow. It's not gonna be huge. You could make a bigger one if you like, okay? Um, I just went with the Dollar Tree, what they had at the Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm happy with that. I think it's stuffed pretty well and it seems to be holding and I've got a nice sort of sharp edge here I kind of like that I like it a lot so I'm going to fold this over now this is where it's going to get interesting and I want to glue that down too okay so I think 
I think I'm gonna glue this way first, and then I'm gonna glue this way, okay? I think that's how I'm gonna go on this one. Because I think it would be too tricky to glue it this way. We're gonna find out, okay? This, that's why I'm here. So you don't have to do all this. You can watch me, and if it goes horribly wrong, then you do it the other way, okay? <laughs> so that's, that's you, girl, okay? I'm here to help. I'm really here to help. So, okay, so I'm going to use that line again. Like, take advantage of it if, if you have it. If you don't, just eyeball it. It's fine. So, life's too short to be driven crazy. Now, I do want to line these two up. Okay, I'm happy. Aw, oh, thank you so much. I saw that heart. It just slipped on by. So, I want to line these up to make sure that they're lined up in that case. And I'm going to... I'm just thinking here. Hmm. Well, I think. I think I'm going to tack it here and here and then just kind of slip the glue underneath. So it'll be where I want it to be because that's, that's kind of a big risk to just slap it down like that. So actually, I'm going to put it down. I'm going to tack it in the middle so it stays where I want it. See, this is how I craft. I'm just thinking out loud as I, as I work at it. And before I actually go ahead and make a move, so I'll gloves back on so I don't burn myself. I love you ladies, but I hate burning my fingers. Uh, one of the reasons I hadn't used hot glue for, oh, look at all those hearts. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Um, one of the reasons I pretty much gave up on the hot glue gun was the burning of the fingers. So uh, when I discovered this nifty little trick, I was like, are you kidding me? So let's do it on this side. All right. I'm not even sure if I would need to glue the whole thing down, but then I'm going to do it there. And then, let's see if you can see what I'm trying to, I should do it on this side, right? So it won't show so much. So they're all matched up. I'm good with that. All right. I'm happy with that. Now, if there's a little bit of glue there, as you can see, all right, I can see a little bit of glue there. I'm going to put a button on that to hide it, right? That's why I have stuff to hide stuff, right? Uh, tack in the middle, and then you can see to go to each side. Right, That's right, Carol. I appreciate that. Uh, you were right, and that's what I did. So it makes more sense, right? Because then you can kind of um, keep everything on both sides. So Carol is right. So I'm tacking in the middle. Now, I'm going to just tack along here, too. So it's not going to be perfect, folks. That's okay. We we don't do perfect around here. We do really good and lots of fun, right? So that's what we do here. Perfect is is uh, not us. We're not that kind of we're not that kind of chicks. All right. So now I think I want to glue this all the way up to there, all the way up. So I'm gonna have to do it this way and try it out. All right, so I'm just gonna glue along that line again. All right, where it was before, all the way up. Make sure it's matched there. That's most important, right at where they meet. Oh, look at that. That's not too bad. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks, Gina. I appreciate that. Gina just sprinkled the video. That helps me um, show more people more stuff. Uh, yes, embellishments are for more than being pretty. Typically, I add embellishments um, not necessarily for pretty, but for because there's things that I need to cover up. <laughs> and so I think, well, how can I make it? How can I make the project a success without having to give up on it, right? And without having to um, start again? Because who wants to do that? So. So I'm doing a little tip somebody taught me here. I'm just touching the, the glue gun to the end there and then I'm gonna put it in here so it sticks to the one in front of it. Don't put much glue, you just want a tiny, tiny bit. I put a bunch one in and it pretty much glued my glue gun shut. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Oh, that is really sweet, you guys. I appreciate that. Um, Susan sprinkled the video as well. All right, so don't forget, we have a Facebook group, and when you are on the page, you'll see Visit the Group. Go ahead and join us there. That's the more social side of us. 
um, where we have fun and we laugh and we post memes and just generally have a good time together. So let me get that. See, this is why these gloves are great because I would not dare do this with just my fingers. I would have burnt them by now, right? Right? I know. Hey, Betty, how are you? So there we go. So far, I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. All right. So you could totally just do that. There you have your pillow, okay? And that could be the back side. But what I had in mind was this to be the front side, all right? And then I have some buttons here. So move you guys over there. And like I said, I want to hide, hide where I glued, where the glue's showing. And I might want to do a couple. Uh, I need matching ones, right? So let's see what we've got here. They're not gonna be perfectly matched. These are buttons I've saved from, um, oh, clothes over the years. And I have a whole bin full of buttons. I'm sure everybody has some that they have. So this is a great use for them as well. I'm just trying to find a couple that look like they might work. Thank you, Kay, that's really sweet. Um, don't forget, if you're watching the replay, you can sprinkle the video and I will come back later after the replay and I read all the comments, guys, and I comment. So even if you're watching the replay, say hi, um, ask questions, I will try and answer whatever I can. I, I read it for the next at least 24 hours, so. All right, I think they're not gonna be identical, but they're gonna be close enough. I'm going to go with that one and that one. Sort of like that. What do you think? Should we do that? I'm going to do the one in the center for sure. Do I need a smaller one or the bigger one? And then I'm probably going to put one there and there or one there and there. I need opinions. What was the material, Christine? Super secret. Dollar Tree tea towel. <laughs> That's all it was. So definitely go back and watch the replay. It was just the tea towel I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So, and uh, where were you that you got here late, Mammy? Missy, what's going on with that? The bigger one. Okay. Thanks, Susan. All right. We're on it. So I'm just going to glue that here. Now, the other thing I could do, and uh, this is why I got, I brought this, all right, was just because you could do this. All right, you could definitely glue that on there. Or you could glue, oh, oh. It is easy, Kimberly. It's absolutely, I don't do anything that's hard for you guys. All right, um, what do you think? Should I add this on the sides? Yeah, and then I'm kind of thinking I might want to put this on too. Do you like that? Large button in the middle. Okay, we got a large button in the middle. That's not a problem. I like the ribbon too, more than I thought. So, all right, first I'm gonna do the button. We'll get that guy on there. Because this is how you prog progress a project is, yeah, don't put, um, is you just keep trying things until you're happy with where you land, okay? So, if you're especially if you're new to crafting, don't think we get it perfect. Like, I've been crafting for um, <clears throat> more than 30 years. And this is exactly how I think, and this is exactly how I craft every time I craft, okay? So I don't start out and get a perfect project, right? And I don't start out to get one. I start out with an idea in mind. Sometimes I nail it. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> That's okay, all right? Yeah, I, I'm kind of loving the ribbon. So what do we got here? So we have that. Or this so you just try them right so that's what I'm doing yeah uh, bric-a-brac it's almost like bric-a-brac right isn't it so I'm gonna put it there am I gonna go all the way around should I yes you know what I'm gonna do okay now I'm thinking about it I'm gonna start it at the bottom all right, and go all the way around. So you can use the pillow from either side. 
so that you'll see it either way so it'd be like that or like that okay sounds good trim on the side would look nice yep let's have a look oh yeah yeah I'm just having fun okay so you could put it in here where we see we left it like uh, open a tiny bit I'm not going to do that because that's going to be a bit trickier all right but you could definitely put it in there on the end I'm just going to do it around here and I'm going to start now I have to decide uh, this way or that way I think I'm going to go that way so I'm going to start at the bottom I'm going to go all the way around do I have enough ribbons to do both sides I do so there we go that's that was actually the plan sorry so like that okay so far yeah I like it this is turning out way nicer than I thought I mean I thought it would be nice but um, I love it when it even comes out even better so I'm gonna move the buttons to the side for now and again if you had the fabric hot glue go for it trim as does add a nice little pop you know what they say there's this there's a saying and it's every um, uh, outfit and every room needs a touch of black so I'm gonna go along that lovely line they've made for me that's awesome I really appreciate that makes it so much easier and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue and hold it down Wow even I'm impressed <laughs> holes to the inside yes Carol you are right so I'm gonna keep going now you don't have to go all the way around but why not right and when I get close to the bottom I'm gonna trim it so We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna fold it, I think. So it has a nice, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is coming out. So it has a nice edge, okay? We'll see. You guys. <laughs> Do I remember where I got the trim? I either got it at the Dollar Tree or at the Canadian Dollar Store, but you can pick this kind of stuff up at the fabric store very easily. Um, I picked it up because I um, I knew that a big bundle of black and white trim with polka dots, this is, this is why I bought it, okay? I bought it for that. <laughs> but, and there was a bunch of that in there, okay? But it had all this black and white trim, and I know me, and I know black and white is always a winner in my book. So. I grabbed it for it was two bucks maybe um, so we'll start again on this side and yeah I probably so I'm gonna leave a little open leave it a little bit open there so I have something to work with when I come around the back okay do you see that so I've left it just a little bit there and I am gluing on the back of the trim very lightly and just following that line and tacking it down like I said it's not gonna be washable it's gonna be one of those pillows you tell your kids don't touch that <laughs> you're gonna put it in the guest room or you're gonna put it in your decor you know somewhere that's hi Terry um, those gloves are a lifesaver oh yes they are ma'am I like I have to say I'm pretty proud of myself for thinking this one up because I can't tell you how many times I have burnt myself with the glue gun. Many, many times. To the point where I wouldn't use a glue gun anymore because it just, it was nasty some of the burns and I just thought it is not worth it. So I took up painting. Um, and I can get pretty much any effect I want with paint. So, um, but yeah, uh, a burnt hand is no, <laughs> I typed in the wrong place. Oh, hi. Hey, hey Ashley. <laughs> All right. 
Ashley might be a guest on our show. So I'm going to flip this over so it has a nice folded edge so it looks nice when it comes around and glue it. So get some glue on there. But see, look, okay, look, look where I got my finger at and the glue gun and I'm not worried. Uh, so I'm gonna fold this, well, okay, I'm gonna fold it first and glue it, all right? And now, if I was doing that with bare fingers, I'd be crying by now. <laughs> so I seriously need to start making these and selling them because you guys, it's like a game changer. You have way less to worry about, about burning your hands and then you can worry about the craft project. <laughs> So, all right, so we're there now. So far, so good. And then let's see, do we want more buttons? So we could do that. Uh, let me see, this way, sorry. So they're not matchy match. They're, uh, I'm not sure. Let me try these. What do you think? Do you like the tiger, what do they call this, tortoise shell? There and there? Or the black? There and there? Or none? All right, let's get some votes going on. Tortoise shell, black, none. None for you, okay? Tortoiseshell, Erica, no so pillow. Yes, it is, ma'am. No so at all. You like the tortoise shell? I do too. Look at my glasses. Like the tortoise shell? Okay. Uh, black? Okay. So we're two tortoise shell, one black. Put the buttons going from the other side. You mean over here? Oh, maybe. Eh? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I think if I hadn't done this trim, it would have been okay. I wonder if I can... We don't even need them, to be honest. None, none, none. Okay, four nuns, five nuns, six nuns. I think you're right. No, just the one big one. Okay, I think we're good. Well, looks like we're done. <laughs> that turned out so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm really impressed. <laughs> so I hope you'll give it a try, all right? Don't forget to join our group. We have, uh, if you go up to the top of the page here on Facebook, we have a... a, a Facebook group, all right, and um, like I said, that's where we're more social, and we just chit chat, and we have fun, and we do memes, and yeah, 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 I mean, Kim, Kimberly, we could go this, you could do this a million ways, right, so I just, I like how it turned out with the, the rick -a rack and oh yeah, less is more, I agree, and that's why you try it first before you glue anything on, right, <laughs> so, uh, so that it turns out you can just keep trying, and that's why you have all these friends on the internet, so you can ask them too. <laughs> So, did you all enjoy, you all enjoyed the interview? I'm just looking at my little notes here. Um, yeah, I think it turned out super cute. So, I will stage it and do some photos, and I'll put some photos up tomorrow of what it looks like in the decor. And like I say, for a buck, um, you know, like two bucks tops, because it's probably um, 50 cents worth of stuffing and a dollar for the, the tea towel. Now, if you have a tea towel at home that you haven't used, and you have uh, the stuffing from a pillow, like this can be less than a dollar, right? For your decor. And yeah, you're not gonna be able to throw it in the washer. That's okay. For that kind of price, I'm happy with that. So um, if you wanted to make it washable, definitely sew it down, right? Uh, definitely that's all, that would just be the way to go. So, well, I hope you all enjoyed yourself. And I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. You, you guys, we did great. We did really great. So I really appreciate you guys spending some time with me and, um, I had fun. I hope you did too. So, all right. I'll see you on the internet a little later on. Cheers now. Bye-bye.